वेलकम टू लर्न अबाउट क्लॉक्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू फाइंड द एंगल बिटवीन हॉवर एंड एंड मिनिट हैंड एट ए गिवन टाइम सपोज द टाइम इज टू ट्वेंटी एंड एट दिस टाइम वी हैव टू फाइंड द एंगल बिटवीन हॉवर हैंड एंड मिनिट हैंड नाउ at the time 220 the hands will be at this position you see and we have to find this angle now to make it easier to understand we extend these hands so you see i am extending these hands so that you better understand understand this now now you see we have to find this angle it is at the time 220 hands will be at this position and we have to find the angle between hour and and minute hand so we have to find this angle theta that is this angle which is from this point to this point now i again extend these points to make it easier to understand now now if you observe this angle is made up of two angles you see this angle and this angle if we add these two angles this one and this one then we will get this angle so to find this angle we will find these two angles this one and this one and then we will add these two angles now to find this angle suppose we have to understand this concept to understand or to find the angle between 3 and 4 that is this is the angle between from this point to this point we can we understand this concept now this is a clock and it is a circle and we all know circle has 360 degree if you move from this this point to the to the same point then it will cover 360 degree and if you notice here these numbers have gaps between them you see this 12 and 1 has gap between them you see this is a gap and this is another gap see and this is another gap so these numbers on the on complete clock have gaps between them and now if you count then you will see all these numbers have 12 gaps total 12 gaps all around the circle total we have 12 gaps and 360 degree angle so 12 gaps have 360 degree angle so one gap will have 30 degree angle so if you see this is a gap it will be of 30 degree if you move from 12 to 1 then it will cover 30 degree so every gap on this clock is of 30 degree now this is also a gap you see if you notice here this angle is also a gap between 3 and 4 so it will be of 30 degree so you see this is of 30 degree now we have to find this angle now again notice that 
this angle you see this is also a this is also a gap between 2 and 3 this angle is also a gap between 2 and 3 so this is also of 30 degree now to find this angle what we do next is we find this angle you see we will find this angle and we will minus this angle from this total angle then we will get this angle so our aim is to find this angle now to find this angle we take a reference time that is 2 o'clock we take a reference time 2 o'clock and we show the clocks the hands of the clocks at 2 o'clock by this different color you see now at time 2 o'clock the hands of the clock will be at this position you see now if you observe the hands which are shown by green color are at time 220 and these are at time 2 o'clock so we can say this is 220 so after 20 minutes this hover hand will go to this position so in 20 minutes this hover hand from is moving from to this position to this position now if you see uh, this hover hand is moving from this position to this position in 20 minutes now we again learn a new concept suppose this is a hover hand and it is present at 12 o'clock now in 60 minutes this hover hand will go to this position so we can say that this hover hand in 60 minutes is covering 30 degree you see this gap consists of 30 degree so and we also know in 60 minutes this hover hand is covering from 12 to 1 so it is covering 30 degree so we can say in 60 minutes the hover hand covers 30 degree so in one minute it will cover half degree so now here you see this hover hand is covering 20 minutes from this position to this position our aim is to find the uh, answer at this position so our so this hover hand is going from this position to this position in 20 minutes and in 20 minutes it will cover 10 degree because we have seen in one minute it is covering half degree so in 20 minutes it will cover 10 degree so we can say this angle is of 10 degree I hope you can see this angle is of 10 degree now this angle is of 10 degree you see this angle angle made by this arc and th we have total 30 degree we minus 10 from 30 and we will get this angle you see so 30 minus 10 is 20 now our aim is to find this total angle and as, as I have said before this angle is made up of these two angles this one and this one so we add this angle and this angle 20 plus 30 that is 50 so this complete angle is of 50 degree so we can say the angle theta is 50 degree so the, our answer is you see 50 degree so we can say at the time 220 the angle between hour and and minute hand will be 50 degree I hope you have understood. Thanks for watching.